New COVID-19 cases have fallen in the United States, but health officials are warning Americans not to get careless about coronavirus precautions. They fear the variants spreading around the world may cause a new surge in the spring. At least 27 million Americans have tested positive for the coronavirus. More than 463,000 people have lost their lives because of complications linked to COVID-19. In South Africa, health officials have paused the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine rollout after a study found it was not effective against the new variant first detected in the country. I want to bring in Dr. Leo Nisola now. He is a physician and immunotherapy scientist. Dr. Nisola, thank you so much for joining us. I, I want to start uh, with getting your take about South Africa's decision to pause their vaccine rollout. Considering the small size of the AstraZeneca study and the fact that it has yet to be reviewed by peers, does this indicate there's a chance the study's results may not be entirely accurate? Thanks for having me. Um, first, let's just acknowledge that we're building the plane as we fly it uh, in this pandemic with uh, clinical development and uh, developing those clinical studies and, and setting them up and uh, designing those studies are, it's definitely not something that uh, it's easy or, or quick to do. Uh, so some of them may have uh, some challenges and AstraZeneca has faced some uh, hiccups through the course of uh, the development of these vaccines. Um, they've recruited a lot of uh, healthy individuals, which makes it even harder for us to understand the, the true benefit of uh, their vaccine based on the data that was published so far. So uh, the jury is still out of whether or not um, it, it still makes sense to vaccinate the population with uh, AstraZeneca's vaccine based on the data that they've released so far. Uh, and there are some more uh, studies coming on their way um, and research based on the, the clinical data from the patients that they've enrolled, which were uh, mostly uh, healthy young adults. Um, given the small sample size, it's very hard to interpret um, accurately uh, to understand if the populations that actually need this vaccine the most uh, will uh, actually gain any benefit from it. So halting uh, the vaccination plan, it's heartbreaking because we need ev uh, every help that we can get uh, in the fight against this virus. Absolutely. That's exactly right. And I, I, I want to ask you about more about these new variants, because here we are 11 months into this pandemic. New variants are emerging across the world. Do you see things getting worse before they get better? Or do you think, you know, the, the declining numbers that we're seeing here in the U.S., uh, you know, we can sustain that? It's really hard to predict. What we do know is the viruses tend to mutate, and they mutate faster when they infect new people that have not been infected before, especially when we're pressure testing this virus by, by giving it vaccines, by giving it convalescent plasma, by giving it immunotherapy, um, by giving different types of vaccines, um, where uh, we are still seeing uh, new infections with new variants um, in new you know, healthy people. Um, so I'm concerned that we are now shifting all of our focus on uh, vaccination plans and vaccination campaigns, which we badly need, and still forgetting that we still need to prevent the spread of this virus. So I think it's, uh, it's very important for us now to uh, focus on the measures that we know works, uh, like uh, masking, uh, physical distancing. Um, and preventing new infections. I think this is crucial for us uh, to uh, understand how we're going to, how the future is going to look like, whether we're going to need uh, new boosts uh, for these vaccines because of novel mutated variants, or whether we're going to be uh, able to walk into the new year next year um, healthy and worry free from COVID. You know, and speaking of the, the, the vaccination effort, as time goes on, more and more people will have received their second shot. So there will be a pool of people who are fully vaccinated. Is it safe for those people to be near other people who've also been fully vaccinated without the same precautions that the rest of us are taking? That's a very important point, and I think we should discuss it. Um, uh, for now, what we do know is that research shows that likely um, in individuals that were vaccinated um, are maybe not going to be spreading this virus, but we don't know that for a fact. Are just some hypotheses and some assumptions that scientists that have been researching this virus are um, making right now. Um, what I do think it's difficult is preventing people that are fully vaccinated from rejoining society. And I think we should have an active plan 
uh, or multiple plans um, to not only reopen uh, businesses that have been uh, shut down because of this pandemic, but also allowing folks that are uh, fully immunized to uh, carry on with their daily lives. And I think uh, there needs to be a more vocal uh, public health discussion around these topics. Right, whether or not uh, they can phase fully back in um, and leave the rest of us out in the cold. <laughs> Dr. Leo Nazola, thank you so much for joining us. It, um, we really appreciate your insight. Thanks for having me.